Hello crafters, it's Darling Craftlet or Raven here with a holiday DIY for you guys. Today I thought we could make a little polymer clay kawaii orange wedge charm. Many people I know refer to mandarin oranges as Christmas oranges because that's when they come in season here and they're just really delicious. I am making the mini orange wedge but you can make any size you wish. Here is a comparison to the regular size of the mandarin oranges. The materials I use will be listed on the screen and will be in the description box below. Feel free to use whatever tools and clay colors that work for you. You want to make a ball with the translucent orange and yellow. We'll call this the orange. Then with the yellow and translucent, we'll call this the pulp. You want to roll a very thin sheet. Even stretch it if you can. Next, you want to loosely cover the orange with the pulp. Tear pieces to fill in the gaps. You can also cover the entire orange from doing just this if you wish. Pinch off where it is too thick. Give it a quick roll. Next, and you can do this a lot, a little, or not at all, you want to scrape off some of the pulp so you can see the orange through it. Then I gave it another quick roll. Next you want to shape your orange into wedges. You can make them different sizes or the same. Then you want to shape your wedge by gently stretching it and pulling or scraping to where the center of the orange would be. Next, cut off a thin layer near the center of the orange and add a thin snake of the pulp. Now it's time to texture. Use ball tools to pull from the pulp on the outer edge to the center. Next, texture the pulp with a small dotting tool on the outside, lightly pulling the pulp. With a needle tool, I gently added texture to the orange under the pulp and split my orange to appear to be two wedges. Now you can add that cute little face. And for the face, you can use chalk pastels or you can add details and paint. It's completely up to you. I start the face by indenting two holes for the eyes with a ball tool. Then I brush on pink chalk pastels. I added two small balls of clay for the eyes using a head pin tool I made out of scrap clay. Then I added a mouth with a tiny snake using a needle tool. To make a charm, use your usual findings now. Here are a couple more examples of faces you can add using a similar method. Now it's time to bake! Make sure to let them cool completely before painting. Now you can add whatever painted details you would like. Here are just a few examples. After your paint is dry, it is time to glaze. I glaze the orange three times and dab the pulp once. Do whatever works for you best. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all soon.